When we think of rocket engines, we often imagine large spacecraft launching into space. However, some may wonder why fighter jets, which are designed for speed and agility, don't use rocket engines. After all, rocket engines are capable of producing incredible amounts of thrust and can propel objects to very high speeds. But despite their impressive capabilities, rocket engines are not commonly used in fighter jets. In this video, we'll explore why fighter jets don't have rocket engines and the alternative propulsion systems that are used instead. One of the main reasons why fighter jets don't have rocket engines is that they are not practical for the types of missions that fighter jets are designed to perform. Fighter jets are primarily designed for air-to-air -air combat and ground attack missions. These types of missions require the ability to accelerate quickly, maneuver at high speeds, and maintain control over the aircraft. While rocket engines are capable of producing high levels of thrust, they are not well suited to these types of tasks. One of the main drawbacks of rocket engines is that they are not very efficient at lower speeds. Rocket engines generate thrust by expelling hot gases at high speeds out of the back of the engine. At high speeds, this can produce a lot of thrust and propel an object forward quickly. However, at lower speeds, the amount of thrust generated is much lower, and rocket engines become less efficient. Fighter jets, which need to be able to fly at a range of speeds, require propulsion systems that can be efficient at a wide range of speeds. Another issue with rocket engines is that they are not well suited for sustained flight. Rocket engines require large amounts of fuel, and the amount of fuel required increases exponentially with speed. This means that a rocket-powered fighter jet would require an enormous amount of fuel, making it impractical for long-range missions. Additionally, rocket engines have a relatively short burn time, typically only a few minutes at most. This means that a rocket-powered fighter jet would only be able to fly for a short time before needing to land or refuel. In contrast, fighter jets typically use turbofan engines, which are much more efficient at a range of speeds. Turbofan engines work by compressing air with a fan and then passing it through a combustion chamber where fuel is burned to create hot gases that are expelled out of the back of the engine to generate thrust. Turbofan engines are capable of producing a lot of thrust at lower speeds, making them ideal for takeoff and landing, as well as sustained flight at higher speeds. Another advantage of turbofan engines is that they are much more fuel efficient than rocket engines. This is because turbofan engines use a combination of air and fuel to create thrust, whereas rocket engines require large amounts of fuel to be carried on board. This means that fighter jets with turbofan engines can fly longer distances and stay in the air for longer periods of time than rocket-powered aircraft. Despite the drawbacks of rocket engines, there have been some experimental aircraft that have used them. For example, the X-15 experimental aircraft used rocket engines for its high-altitude flights in the 1960s. However, these types of aircraft were not designed for sustained flight and were used for short-duration missions only. While rocket engines are capable of producing incredible amounts of thrust, they are not well suited for the types of missions that fighter jets are designed to perform. Fighter jets require propulsion systems that are efficient at a wide range of speeds, capable of sustained flight and fuel efficient. Turbofan engines are the preferred choice for fighter jets due to their versatility and efficiency. As technology continues to advance, we may see new types of propulsion systems developed for fighter jets. But for now, rocket engines remain impractical for these types of aircraft.